I almost thought that Scorpion was alive in the lava right there for a second. <laughs> that would've been really bad. Like crazy Scorpion. Oh jeez, that scared the crap out of you. I did not know that was like that. Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved. Dreyar Gaming here, on the Gaming Evolved vanilla server. Over at our base today, as you see. <laughs> Alright guys, you might see a little something different around the elevator platform here. Um, I kind of added some foundations and some ceilings around here just to kind of cover it in a little bit. Uh, we have a little plan today of kind of expanding this part out and making a little bit of um, an area to kind of store our dinos on because kind of keeping them on the ground over here, it's, it's okay, but... I don't know. I don't really like it, so we're going to go ahead and fix that and build a little area over here. Uh, I think somebody might be uh, <laughs> taming back packies or something. I don't know where a packy came from, but okay. Um, so we're going to see if we can um, you know, make an area down here for storing the dinos that we kind of use more often. Like We'll still keep all the other dinos over here, like the... The Parasers and the Spinos, but like some of these smaller guys, you know, like Elmer, Wolfie, these kind of guys will store on top of here, just make it a little bit nicer and neater. So I kind of added some foundations and some ceilings around here just to make it look a little bit nicer around the bottom of the elevator. So um, I've crafted up a whole bunch of stuff over here. I put it on Cleo for the time being. So we got some foundations, some ceilings, some pillars, and some railings. Um, I'm not going to go too fancy with this. I don't think we really need to. Uh, I think that just kind of doing something with flat, flat-ish, flat-ish, that makes no sense at all. Just kind of do something to put them on and make it some rails to kind of give them a little area of their own, I guess. It's the best way to explain that. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. How's that sound? So we're going to go ahead and lay out an area over here. Uh, can I snap one there? Nope. But we're going to try to put one over here, over there. Can I put one there? No, no. I can put one there. Uh, so it's going to look a little odd being foundations and ceilings kind of mix-matched, but I think it's okay. I think it'll be okay. Uh, you're obstructed, and you're obstructed. Is it because of you? Let's get rid of this thatched floor. I went ahead and demolished some of the thatched stuff around here, too, just because it was in the way. <laughs> Alright, so we got that area put out. And we're going to have to expand it with ceilings from now on, looks like. So, uh, somebody asked me... Uh, on a comment a little bit ago about doing something about how to get more subscribers and stuff like that and <laughs> I found it kind of weird we don't need foundations um I mean I guess it's not weird but uh, it's I don't know I don't know if I would be the best person to kind of give you guys advice on that um you know we're we have a small channel here ourselves and we're getting bigger every day get out of here you what's your problem you like my base? Is that what it is? You just like my base. You just want to be here. Um, you know, we're a small channel, as you guys know. Um, you know, we got, what, 206 subscribers now that I checked it out? Um, not that long ago. Now that I checked it out, not that long ago. Should we do something like this? I'm amazed that I can put them there. Uh, no, let's not do that. Um, but, you know, so... I guess, I don't know, the best advice I could do, I don't know, I've kind of listened to other bigger YouTubers kind of give advice, um, and I don't know exactly where I'm going to go with that, but, um, some, some other advice that I've heard is, I've heard a couple mixed things about, um, advice for this, and, you know, one of them is, uh, just keep, Keep making videos. Just keep doing videos. Keep going at it, and eventually you will get there. Um, and you know that's that's good advice. That's kind of something that I would say is good advice, because you know just keep making those YouTube videos, keep putting that content out there, and people will come. People will see it. Um, but then I've also heard the other advice of you know no matter if you put that video out all the time, and if you keep putting videos out is that you're always going to be somewhat better. Uh, you got to do something better than the other guy that's doing it. So if you're going to do art videos, like me, um, you know, then you need to make sure you have a better video than I do, and all this other stuff. So, I mean, I don't know, there's kind of a mix... I have mixed feelings about it, I guess is the best thing to say. Um, I will continue to put videos out, and, you know, it the 
that seems to be working for us because, you know, we keep growing as subscribers. We're doing it slowly and surely. You know, Syntac has jumped up extremely well if you guys have subscribed to him or seen his channel or anything like that. And, you know, that's in part because of some of the content he's put out has been really good stuff. So, I don't know. There's kind of... I have mixed feelings about it. Um, but yeah, so, I don't know. Take that advice as you will. <laughs> best advice I can give you there. Um, so, yeah, I'm really not the person to give advice, so don't don't really listen to me, I guess. <laughs> Does that sound like good advice to give? No. But hey, you know, it's me. Alright, so we're going to extend this out a little bit more here. All this junk is in our way. I can't see anything. Uh, let's grab Susie. Here we go. Susie, come here. Come here. Come here, come here Susie. So I figured uh, today we'll do a little bit of building. We'll take a break from all of the taming and breeding and all that fun stuff because, in my opinion, I think you guys might be kind of tired of hearing about it <laughs> or seeing it or who knows what it may be. Um, but we've done a lot of taming videos and um, not really taming videos. I guess breeding is what I'm more looking for here. We don't need any of that stuff, do we? Nah, we don't need any of that stuff. Um... Yeah, we've done a lot of breeding videos recently. It's it's because I'm having so much fun with the breeding stuff. It's it's really fun now that they've added that mechanic in of, um, you know, you could do the interactive breeding and get those awesome, crazy, cool dinos by just sitting here and watching them grow. <laughs> I know it sounds exciting, right? All right, let's go ahead and put one here. And, oh, I've already used up all my ceilings, huh? We'll put one there. Do I, can I make another one? Yes, I can. Alright, and then we'll put a found pillar, a foundation? We'll put a pillar there. Uh, that's just berries and stuff. Uh, where are you, Cleo? Alright, let's grab some more ceilings. I'm encumbered, of course. Let's drop all this junk off. Am I still encumbered? No. Alright, let's see here. We'll make this a little bit bigger. But yeah, I think uh, the interactive breeding has been great. It's been really fun to do all that nice, cool stuff. Get the really cool dinos and all that fun stuff. I just figured we'd take a break from it. I'm sure you guys are kind of tired of seeing the same things. What are you obstructed by? Is it, are you obstructing that? That seems really weird that you would be obstructing that. Oh, good stone. That's what I always want to pick up all the time is stone. <laughs> I always hate doing that. Alright, and there we go. How big is this platform now? Uh, so I figured we'd do a little bit of bre uh, breeding, a little bit of building, uh, and see what we can get going on over here. So I'm thinking we'll put the Quetzals down over here somewhere, and we'll put, uh, you know, the Rhino. We'll make some space for all the, the Dire Wolf and the, uh, the Frog and all that fun stuff. Let's go ahead and Gamma up here for you guys. I'm sure it's getting a little dark. Um, not sure. I mean, everybody has the same issue on YouTube. <laughs> Whenever it gets dark on Ark... It gets dark. You can't really see stuff on, when it's on YouTube, so I don't know. I always gamma up for that reason. It's not because I want to cheat or anything like that. It's just for so you guys can see it better. All right, let's check this out. We got uh, let's put some of these pillars and ceilings away, and I made a whole ton of wooden railings. So we're gonna use these railings. We're not gonna place them in the way of the elevator. Uh, let's see here. We'll keep our ladder right here. So maybe, I don't know, let's do this first. Let's put them along the back edge over here. I haven't really kind of planned this out. I'm just kind of placing it down as we go. <laughs> uh, let's put that one there, and we'll put that one there. All right, let's go ahead and do this right here, and this right here. And so if we do something like putting a dire wolf right here, maybe we'll put our terror bird or our dire wolf right here. We can walk it out, and we can have like a area right here to walk out on. That sounds great. Okay, so the terror bird could probably fit inside of a one foundation wide area. Um, what else? Probably the dire wolf could fit inside of a one foundation wide area too. It's weird that it's snapping in so many different places. Like, ah, there's two places it was snapping right here. You see that? You see that change? That was weird. Alright, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, we're probably way too happy to actually get um, <laughs> move any of those dinos that we just talked about. I put some meat on you, didn't I? Yep. I'm gonna go ahead and eat some food here before we can't. Uh, we're still using the beaver and the bear and the buyer. <laughs> I said that odd, didn't I? Alright, let's see here. So we got, uh, Sabertooth, Terrorbird, Wolf, the frog could probably fit inside of one of those areas. 
Uh, saber two, so let's do that, and then let's do that. And then we could do something like um, putting the rhino over here. So the rhino can have like an area like this. And we can do... We'll probably have to extend this out one more. Let's go grab some ceilings and do that real quick. Yoink. Ceilings. Let's put those away. We're too heavy now. Ugh. I didn't make any ramps yet. We'll have to make ramps so we can get up and down on this area over here. Alright, let's see here. Uh, nope, two. No foundation support. Of course not. That would make sense. Because I would need pillars. Oh. Alright, let's do one there. One there. One there. Alright, that worked. And one there. Alright, perfect. And we're going to need a pillar. One pillar, it looks like. Alright, come over here. Who's in my way? Oh, I did not see you there. Base XP2. <laughs> I honestly didn't see him there. Alright, let's grab a pillar. And we'll put that in slot number three. Like so. Three. And then press the forward button here. And we'll put this one right here. Just like that. And there we go. Alright, perfect. Alright, now we gotta get back up here. Yeah, I need ramps. <laughs> Makes it hard. We gotta go all the way around over here. No, get down. Get the let me in. Alright, so let's do another set of rails over here. So scorpion egg. We need that eventually. Alright, let's do some rails over here. I'm trying to think if there's any other thing else that we need to No! That's the wrong spot. I get too excited and I just keep placing rails. There we go. Nope. Nope. There we go. Alright. Place this one down. Maybe a couple over here. Wrong again. Oops. And we'll do... One more? Yeah, let's do one more right there. Okay. Now let's do something like this. Let's take this Quetzal. This is a new one. One of the new ones. I haven't done anything with it. Uh, it had a few levels and I just pumped some speed on it. Ooh, this isn't going to be big enough. Because if we put you there, can we put the other Quetzal that we still have to name? <laughs> We're terrible at naming our birds and dinos in general. What if we put you here? Alright. Get down. Get down. Sweet. And we'll separate you guys with that. There. Don't fight, you two. And then... Hmm. I probably can't get that bear back there. Guaranteed. Where's the bear? There's the bear. Alan. Uh, this isn't the bear that we will be leaving back there because the other bear is over at the snow cave for when we do the uh, the ice cave thing. Yeah, that. So do you fit through here? Uh, you kind of jump through there in a weird way because you walk over the rails. Good, good, good. We'll just walk over top of the rails. This works out great. Perfect. <laughs> Alright, we can fit two bears in here actually. But hey, this works. Alright, so this this works right there. And then the rhino, Cleo, can you carry us right now? You can. I would have thought you would have had too much weight on you. You did earlier. You, like, loaded him down with all of our supplies. Which is, like, 2,000 weight. His weight's up to, like, 2,000. So it's pretty crazy we had that much weight in building materials. Alright, so we can put the rhino right here. That works out perfect. And guaranteed none of these other dinos can carry us because we have all this other stuff on us. Let's drop all this stuff real quick. And... Where are you? Elmer. We guys, we haven't really taken Elmer out, like, on camera. I use him for, uh, gathering up cementing paste, and I don't really do that on camera for you guys. I'm sorry. If you guys want to see it, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not really that exciting. Just going out and killing Meganera. Alright, and then our new Wolfie. Uh, which we will eventually be finding another wolf to mate this one with, so we can get, like, super cool wolf. But, uh, that's not yet. That's not yet. Alright, let's put Wolfie right here. Park you nice and neat. Here we go. Beautiful. I know this is a very exciting video of me just putting dinos in places. Alright. Oh yeah, this is our super saver. Alright, cool. So let me go ahead and get some of these guys in here. Don't walk over that rail. You're gonna walk over this rail, aren't you? You would. Alright, you know what? You wanna go here. Sweet. Is there any other- Oh, we gotta make spaces for the beaver. We're stuck. Help. 
Uh, we gotta make spaces for the beaver, and who else do we need? Uh, the Dodecurus. Where's our Dodec? Oh, I know where our Dodec is at. We left them over at the cave. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe we did that. Kutupau or something like that, right? <sighs> Get over here. Oh, this is great. We're stuck now. We're stuck for sure. There we go. Yeah, we gotta go get our other dino. Oh my gosh, we left that other... I can't believe we left the Dodecurus over at the snow cave. I brought the Dodecurus over there just in case we need to gather materials for when we built that uh, base inside the snow cave. That's too funny. Not really funny, but it's sad. We forgot our dino. Alright, sweet. So we still need a few extra spots here. Wow, you can't see because all those names over there. Alright, so we still need a few extra spots over here for... Um, a couple of the other dinos. We need, um, let's see here. We need the wrong button. What am I doing? Backspace. Here we go. Play the game. Learn your buttons. All right. Uh, so if we do, um, we need the beaver. We can put the beaver in here, and we also need the dodecuras. So we're going to need a couple extra spots then. All right. So what I'm going to do is we're going to get rid of these gallimimus first off. Because we don't need as many names around us. Let's grab one of these guys. Alright, sweet. So, we dropped them. Perfect. Alright, so I'm going to grab these Gallimimus. And then I'm going to also grab our Dodecurus out of the other cave. And then we'll bring those dinos back. And then I guess we'll be right back after that. So I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, we're back. And quick change of plans. <laughs> Alright, so I decided we're going to change this up a little bit, and what we're going to do is we're going to make a cup of Broth of Enlightenments. Uh, so what they are is a Broth of Enlightenment, single sip of this incredible broth will expand your mind and broaden your horizons, granting greatly increased experience gain for a brief time. Alright, so what that is, is it's five Rhino Horns, uh, two Savarus, two Rock Carrots, two of the other ones, Citronals, and Long Grass, and also ten... Mejo berries per one and also one uh, black pearl so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do this we're gonna cut use a couple of these and what it does is it gives you increased experience gain as I just read and if you guys haven't heard it before I think I did this on a video um, I don't know last season I think it was I don't remember when this came out sorry my square is my square my chair is really squeaky um, so I started to fly with the uh, the gallimimus and I said you know what this is too slow. It's taking too long. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and give this guy a Broth of Enlightenment. I have two of them, just in case. And we're going to go ahead and see if we can level this guy up and pump a bunch of speed on him. Because he's... I think we should make him into a speed Quetzal. I mean, we don't really have any other use for any other Quetzals, really. We have a bunch of Quetzals. So I said, you know what? Let's just make him into a, uh, a speed Quetzal. Let's make him really fast and we'll see how this goes. So I'm going to do this for a little bit, going to level him up, and uh, we won't do a montage or anything like that. I feel like we've done that a lot recently, so I'm just going to go ahead and level him up and see if we can punch a bump with a bunch of speed on him and see what we can get him up to. So, alright guys, I'm going to do this, and I'll see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, we're back, and got the level and up done on the Quetzal over here. Uh, let's see here. It's a female. Uh, we got her up to 388.1 movement speed, so she's pretty quick. Uh, it's pretty nice to have a quick Quetzal again. Remember last season, we had a really fast Quetzal. It was pretty awesome. Um, so we still have all the Terror Birds over here. We have our Raptors over here. We have our Dilos. So we'll let the Dilos lay a few more eggs, and then we'll probably get rid of those guys. Uh, let's see here. Our Dimorphodons are laying eggs. We're still going to keep those guys around. Let's go and see if we can move Susie out of the way here. I had to take my shirt off because it was too hot. I was sweating over here. Just kidding. Sweating doing all this work over here around the base. Just kidding. Alright, so, um, I brought the Dodecurus back over. He was just sitting in the cave. He was perfectly fine. Nothing was bothering him. He was safe and sound. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab some of these railings again. Uh, let's see here. I killed an Alpha Carno while I was out there, and I grabbed a few drops. That's why we have all this junk on us. Um, let's see here. Drop all this crap. We don't need that. Oh, I need that. I definitely need that. That's my Mastercraft for sure. I need that. There we go. Alright, sweet. So, let's drop this. There we go. Inventory management. Much better. 
All right, so let's go ahead and put uh, one more rail back here. We'll put one beside you there and one beside you there if you're not in the way. Let's get them out of the way real quick. There we go, and then we'll put one here. All right, now it's more organized and I like it a lot more better. <laughs> Rather than just having them all kind of in a line. I mean, the line wasn't too bad, but it was still kind of annoying. I didn't like it. It didn't look that good. So, we get all these guys lined up in a nice little area over here. And we're stuck on rails, so we'll probably deal with that a whole bunch, but it's fine. Uh, so the next thing I thought we should do today is we should go through a cave. Um, I said a few episodes ago that we were going to do it with uh, Shredder. Uh, unfortunately, he's been sick, and uh, he is, you know, we wish him well wishes, but he's uh, he's sick, so we're going to have to do some of this stuff without him. Um, I would gladly go through the cave with him again some more, though, so... I'm perfectly fine with that, so Shredder, keep that in mind. Alright, so what we're going to do is I'm going to grab the Sabertooth over here, Vitani, and we're going to go ahead and take her over to um, one of the caves. I'm not sure which cave we're going to do today, though. Uh, we'll have to figure that part out first, I guess. We kind of need to know which cave we're going to do before we go to a cave, because that would be silly to not go to a cave and not know which one we're doing. Alright, so I'm going to figure out which cave we're going to go to, and then... I'm going to get some supplies ready, and then we're going to go through the cave. So I'll see you guys at the cave entrance. All right, guys, we're back. And I think somebody might have done this cave before. I might have the sneaking suspicion that somebody's done this cave before. <laughs> no, I know somebody's. I know the other guys have done this cave already on the server. So uh, there's a whole bunch of beds placed out here, which is kind of funny. Um... Also, I think we look pretty sexy riding a saber tooth with no shirt on. In my opinion. I don't know. I might be a little biased, but I think that. Alright, so we're going to go through this cave. Um, we've done this cave before in the past. You know, uh, I just think it's fun to do the caves together because it's kind of uh, different, you know. Kind of exciting stuff could happen. And we're loading in the cave. There we go. Alright, sweet. So we're inside the cave here. Yay. As you can see, there's a cave here. Uh, so this cave is kind of dangerous only for the fact of lava. Um, I'm not too concerned about all the bats and everything else that we see right here. <laughs> Jeez, look at all this stuff. Holy cow. Alright, we should be okay with the, uh, the saber tooth here. Let's see if we can take some of these guys out. Get off from the scorpion. Just, just to our boards, all we have to worry about. Alright, so let's take some of these guys out. Oh, and wait, that's another thing we have to worry about too. Alright, oh, you know what we didn't bring? Oh, sorry about that emergency mute, I had to cough, it was terrible. Uh, sorry, I was gonna say, you know what we didn't bring? We didn't bring the Dimorphodon. We totally forgot to grab no Morpheus to bring inside the cave. Remember we bred him up just to bring inside the caves? Oh, we're terrible, terrible parents to these dinos. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead and uh, heal him up real quick, because he's not that injured. Um, yeah, that's that's good right there. So we're not going to keep any of the chitin or anything like that. We don't need any of that kind of stuff. Um, maybe if we find some, um, you know, some stem berries, we'll keep those just in case. Oh, we just got a nerdy glasses skin. That's funny. I never, I never really know where you get those from. <laughs> I guess that's where. You get them in the cave. Alright, sweet. So we're going to do this cave. You stupid on it. Yeah, that's right. Take that, you. Yeah, somebody has definitely done this game before. As you see, the <laughs> the foundations are set up, so they didn't want to fall in, I guess. Jeez, a bunch of weenies, or they just didn't know the right way around the cave. <laughs> all right, let's go ahead and drop all these items. Get off of this stupid onic. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. We don't need any server lag right now. Also, we don't need to be running through here. We have a terrible idea. Just, just run off of there. There you go. There you go, just drown. Ah, swim through that lava and drown. <laughs> yeah, you don't you don't burn in lava, you drown in it, just so you know. Alright. So I'm gonna do this for a little while. Maybe yeah, we're not doing a montage, that's for sure. Um let's go ahead and just see if we can kill all this stuff. What are you? You just a Dilo that doesn't care about the, the world around you? That was really weird, he was just standing there. Oh, you know what? We still have our fur armor on. It's incredibly hot here. Uh, we should probably take our fur armor off. I brought our flax stuff. Uh, yeah, I did. I don't know 
know why I have two for chess pieces. Oh, I know why I have two for chess pieces. One's Mastercraft, one's Primitive. Haha. <laughs> so do I have, like, all flex stuff? Is this fur still? I bet this is fur. Yeah, totally fur. What if I take it off? Am I still, like, burning hot? Yep. <clears throat> Alright, there we go. That's better. Sweet. We're not boiling hot anymore. Alright, let's see. Did they come this way? Alright, so this is the part I'm scared about right now because... Yeah, I don't want to aggro that stuff onto us while we're on this ramp. So let's see if we can get them to come over this way. I did bring a bunch of metal arrows just in case, but you never know. Anything else over there? Alright, doesn't look like it. Alright, this is the scary part. We'll slowly walk across here. Get away. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, why, why are we falling through? Okay, that was scary. I don't want to fall through. Okay, we're good. Get away, Dilo. Wow, 112 Dilo down here. That's pretty cool. Get out of here. <laughs> Alright, that was scary. I don't like that. I didn't like the fact that we were falling through the floor, too. That was really scary, too. Alright, just, just go away. Oh, I love having a saber tooth down here. It's so fun. I mean, it's not as easy as when you could ride the pteranodons and stuff down through here, but uh, they disabled that in the official servers, and, you know, I, I thought it was kind of cheaty, too, so I decided we weren't going to enable that, because you could just really just fly through it, like, no problem, so. Would you go away? He's Onik. Oh, yes. Well, oh, jeez. <laughs> that was scary. They didn't want to lag. A lot of lag while we were over here. That's scary. That's super scary. Oh, we got so much stuff on us. Let's heal up a little bit here. Doop, 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 doop. In case you're wondering, I have an auto clicker enabled on here so we can make this a little bit faster. And so I don't, you know, blow up my mouse. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's not really blowing up my mouse, I guess. It's just I don't want to ruin my mouse because I have to click so much. I can't tell you how many clicks we had to do when I was trying to kill that Titanosaurus the other day. Oh, that was so frustrating. I'm still very salty about it. Because, you know, that seems really silly that I could just run into the, uh... Wow, you were just really going crazy with the attacks there. I was really salty that I ran into the ocean and drowned itself. That was so silly. Level 112 on it. Now, you can tame Onik in this, um, it's really hard to do, because you have to wear ghillie suits and you have to passively tame them with, uh, raw meat, so it's, or not raw meat, but, uh, spoiled meat, so it's, like, the worst thing. <laughs> 116 dialo down here, huh? I feel like they might have increased the, uh, difficulty of, uh, the caves down here. It's kind of what it feels like to me. Alright, let's go this way. Is there a drop over there? There's usually a drop uh, to the left over here. Yep, there's a yellow one too. Might actually be something good for once. You know, because these drops down in the caves are terrible all the time. Get out of here. Oh, come on, let's go like this. Just get out of here. Yeah. Yeah, easy enough. Come on, really? Die! Get out of here, dude. Just get die -los. Oh man, there's still so much stuff coming. I see you, Scorpion. I'm trying to be sneaky like that. Oh, Rainio. Oh, we're burdened. Let's drop all this stuff. Alright, sweet. Oh, we yeah, got a web. Oof, that was scary. Alright, we're still webbed. And poison now. Great. Alright, so is this a yellow drop? This is a yellow drop. Let's see what's inside of here. What the heck was that? Alright, let's see what we got inside of here. Uh, oh yes. A journeyman cloth shirt. I am so excited for that. You don't even understand. I'm gonna wear it right now. <laughs> That's so silly. Dumbest things. The dumbest things are in those drops. I hate it. It's so bad. Alright, come here. Onik. Yeah, I definitely feel like... Well, there's level 12. I feel like there's higher level stuff in here now. Okay. Here's a dangerous jump. <gasps> oh my gosh, we might have overdid that a little bit. <laughs> Alright, let's come over here. All of the Onik. Holy cow. Alright, so there's the... Uh, 
What you might call it? Why can't I think of what it's called? Um, what are they called? Artifacts. That's what it's called. I couldn't think of what the heck the dang thing was called. Uh, so the artifacts are right over there to our left. Uh, we're getting eaten in the butt by Dilophosaurus. Get out of here. Oh, we are so burdened. I hope we're okay. Get out of here. Nope. Onyx? Nope. Nope. Get out of here. Nope. So now, just go away. There we go. Anything else? I heard it. <laughs> Alright, sweet. Wow, that did a lot of damage to us. Alright, let me heal up here real quick and I'll be right back. Alright guys, we're back. And got her all healed up. So she's all good to go. Dropped all of our weight. Let's go see if we can get rid of these scorpions. I almost thought that scorpion was alive in the lava there for a second. <laughs> that would've been really bad. Like crazy scorpion. Oh jeez, that scared the crap out of you. I did not know that was like that. Oh, good lord. Oh my goodness. I did not. <laughs> wow, who put an incomplete bridge over here? Jeez, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> oh, okay, what do we got? We got Artifact of the Massive. Oh, now that I've had a heart attack for today. <laughs> Christmas. Alright, sweet. So we got the Artifact of the Massive. If you read right here, it says, Found in the heart of the island's crucible. It is still warm to the touch. Yay. Alright, Artifact of the Massive. Sweet. So, there's the first artifact that we gotta get. We're gonna wait for another one to spawn back in. We'll grab it, and then we'll head back to base. So, I'll see you guys back at the base. Alright, guys. We're back. And we brought the two artifacts back. That was fun. I'll see you guys. You guys wanna see something? <laughs> what the crap? Do you see that thing? That is huge! Look what I found on the way back over here. Oh my gosh. This is a massive animal feces. How hilariously huge is this? Look at this. Hold on. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Alright, so I, this is definitely dropped by the Titanosaurus. That was so funny. I happened to be running by him and he dropped that. That was so funny. I just thought I'd pick that up and show you guys. Look how huge that is. It's taller than a man. I can fit inside of it. Gross. It's disgusting. Oh my gosh. I wonder how much I wonder how much fertilizer that'll give us. Let's go check it out. Let's go see. I don't even think the dung beetles can carry it. But we should go find out actually. I wonder if a dung beetle can carry it. How much fertilizer and oil you can get off of it. Cause that'd be sweet if it's a lot. Let's go check it out. Hold on. Almost there. Almost there. I know there's a lot of ladders to climb up to my greenhouse up here. This amazing greenhouse. Okay, dung beetle, dung beetle, dung beetle. Here's a dung beetle. Alright, this thing weighs 35. Oh, they are close. Too bad it won't last long enough. That's too funny. I did this. Come here. How much you Oh, you can't hold as much. No wonder. Let me see if I can just put it in here, Zemitory. Sometimes you can go over their weight. Let's see here. Nope, won't let me. Dang it. That would have been so cool. Well, let's see how many fertilizers it gives us. How many fertilizers it gives us. Does that make any sense at all to you? No. That, it didn't make sense to me either. Alright, so we got 25 to 30 on here. And if, let's put this puppy in there. Oh, it's not that much. I thought it was going to be way more than that. That's silly. Huh. Well, that was, it was fun. You know, that was fun. We got to see a massive animal feces. <laughs> <laughs> Let's put that back into our hard bar. Let's just throw that again. Alright, we'll throw that again for the end. Oh wait, I'm pinned the wrong view here. Alright, sweet. So, that is going to be it for us to, uh, today, guys. Uh, we did a lot of stuff today. We built the uh, the area down there for parking the dinos on. I'm not sure what we're going to call that. But, uh, yeah, we built that. We leveled up the Quetzal, got him up to a super fast speed. And we also went through the lava cave and got the artifact of the massive. So, we did a lot today. I feel like we did. Uh, so, if you guys liked the video, press that like button. It helps me out so much. Also, if you guys have not subscribed to the channel yet, you're new here go ahead and subscribe we do more stuff so i got some more stuff planned in the future we'll be doing this no oh uh, whoa 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 you don't want to see that let's try that again i got some stuff planned in the future we'll be doing the snow cave pretty soon with some of the other guys so 
Uh, stay tuned to see more of that. So we'll see you guys next time. Bye!